I was late. <laughs> I was a little late. <laughs> That's fine. Hello, everyone. Hey, hi, it's me, Blossom, this TV's possum. I dug myself out of church to come see you. How y'all doing? Hello, hi, you. Nebular Jeff. Hello, Neb. Thank you for being first. You're the first and only. If anyone says otherwise, I'll smack him. Hello, Nekonot. Well, I was just about to yell at you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Snake. Hello, welcome. <laughs> oh, Shendo. On her screen, she's playing Ghost Trick, but in her heart, she's thinking about how much she hates the Albed. <sighs> Those Albed. <laughs> They're no good. Hello, Voltuk. Hello, welcome. I know you where you were. How, how do you know? Were, were you there also? Were, were you there also, Neko? Did you... I watch as many of you as I can at, let's say, at a time. <laughs> yeah. I was hanging out in, in Stitches chat. Okay, let me put on lotion. My hands are so dry. Oh, uh, this lotion is strawberry pound cake. It's really good. It's from Bath and Body Works. We are four away from 900. That is crazy. I have so many posse members and I love them all so much. Good to see you guys, by the way. We're gonna be playing Ghost Trick in a bit. I need to boot up my Switch. I did uh, test it out because this is a pre-order and it literally comes out today. So, why is my hands not working? So, <laughs> I wanted to test it, so I booted it up and it had me pick English as a, as a language. So, we'll see if it does that again. I don't know if it will. What language do you want to play with? And I'm like, please, English. I do not understand anything else. Here, is my hand fart? Can I do it again? I can't really. Ow. Stab myself with a sharp end of my nail. Anyways, let me get this set up. Also, I did get the secret of mana. Or the collection of mana, I guess. I'm super excited for that. I boot it up and make sure it works. And oh my gosh, the title music is so good. I'm excited. There's so many good games in the future. What's that face saying? What's that face for? I didn't, I didn't mean a real nail. I mean my, my fingernail. It's sharp. You got it in, yes! I have received it, and the freaking title screen music is so good. It's so good. Oh, there goes my face. Let me put my face back on. Oh. Actually, the whole thing fell. One second. <laughs> this is gonna be funny looking. Cat to OD to the vet today and got him microchipped and vaccinated against rabies because uh, he didn't have a rabies vaccine. Ugh. And he needed a rabies vaccine. So he's vaccinated and he has a microchip. Throwing up gang signs. <laughs> you bet I am. Anti rabies in this house. We are anti rabies in this house. I might not be able to catch it very easy because I'm a possum, but my cat doesn't have that kind of immunity, so I had to get him vaccinated. And he was very brave. He didn't scream. He didn't struggle for either, uh, e and even the microchip, which is like a huge needle that they that they stab in. So he's he's good. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, really quickly. I'm gonna boot up. Let me take this out. There's an audio glitch, one sec. Guys, you have to hear this. Okay, let me reboot this. You have to hear this opening music. Shindo already knows because he's the one that got me this game, but like guys, you have to you have to hear it. It's so peaceful. As for myself, I'm super sore. We're painting my church and I put painter's tape around all the molding in the sanctuary. Oh no. That's a that's a lot of tape. The title of the soundtrack is Rising Sun. It's so good. Okay. I just had to show that to you guys because it's so good, okay? I'm back in the case it goes. Yeah. Ghost trick. Englando. This is good. I found an even prettier version of that song, the Discord? Yes! Dude, look at this, this is some of the music. Should we go with the original soundtrack or the ranged? Ranged is the default. Let's go with the ranged. Hello, wasabi! Yes, I will take a hydrate. I need more water in my system. Boop! Boop! Ghost trick, phantom detective. been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there, a woman I didn't know, at least I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun, I don't know him either, well probably not anyway. And 
Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be me, Not uh, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around here? <laughs> I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this... It's no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. What the? The whole world just changed- the whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Okay. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Just looks like a railroad crossing gate to me. The best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul. Oh! Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what, now I'm a crossing gate? Well, um, now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What, but how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your power to stop it. Wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Oh my gosh, it's starting out strong. <laughs> Sneaky Possum Blossom Bapple. Hello, welcome, Bapple. Now then, time will start to flow again. Uh. Well played. Oh, uh, what just happened? was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. <laughs> Name drop. You mean I mean that you mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform that trick like that is press A. Now the woman's fate has changed, I'll bet just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Mm, yes, that's not good, is it? Or at least, now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I entered the ghost world with ghost. Possess an object and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Okay. A guitar then, is it? Um. <laughs> I'm good. The music is so jamming in this game. Hey, what do you want from me? Would have preferred a giant wrecking ball, but that would solve the problem real quick, I bet. I guess I can't reach chords that are too far away. Guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. I'm glad you're good, heck yeah. This game reminds me of a game way back on the Go GameCube called Geist. Dude, the music is so good. It, it reminds me of, um... Okay, let me look up Geist. I'm gonna look that up. Ooh. A shooter? Is it like a ghost-themed shooter? That looks cool. GameCube is so good. Dude, the music here reminds me of, um... Sonic Riders. Let me try that again. Is there? Ah! Uh, yo, it did a shotgun thing. This is gonna be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen yet. Bob Fluffy, Ted and Socks say hello. Hello, kitties. I like that the shotgun didn't just leave one hole, bullet hole. It left like a whole bunch of them. Like it actually would. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. The core is close enough to possess from here. Guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. Got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Oh, this part shooter, part puzzle. You had to possess different things to advance. Oh. Right, now we'll set in time in motion. Go ahead and try A. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even though they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding! Look at this guy! What about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy here. Give it a try. Um. Oh. Little well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Out of my way. Well, <laughs> just kick my corpse. This protag looks like he belongs in elite beat agents. It's done. I'm on my way. This corpse is just chillin'. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this. Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ignore me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. It's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks don't do much good. You still end up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? Still more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? What can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. I really hope that they just keep lugging around the corpse. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp off on this invitation anyway. Like, wouldn't it be funny if they just look around his corpse everywhere? <laughs> Re reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women laying around discarded like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time! I wonder how he died. He like, he must have got shot, right? 
thought bubble you just pressed, those are your thoughts that you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? The dead won't have, don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of like a, a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember, always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Good idea. I just might get some important clues from you. Nothing. In order to possess me, you have to ha enter the ghost world. L is your ticket in. Best thing you do is try it. I can't reach it. You've taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? it? Tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Calling something trash to an opossum is a compliment? <laughs> exactly! Information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in case this folding cut looks like I can unfold it. Well, from a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Okay. This time B is your ticket out of the ghost world. Good luck, I'm counting on you. Who is this we? Can't do anything with that. I can't reach the... Flag. Uh, turn on. Okay. Well, that's funny. What's this? She's still alive. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. What do you know? What price do I get? A new power, what else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. Yeah, what's that? Why don't you try it and see? Oh. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm. Looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Conscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is bright. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. Once she's resting, we can save her life. I'm sure you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before the person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. 
It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy. None of this makes sense. Talking about powers of the dead here, it doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? This reminds me of Mystery Dungeon for some reason. Like the music. It's time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Wait a second, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Rewind time! Boom! Can I do that with myself? And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes of life. Not as fuzzy, distant... Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no! Oh no, he's dead! Who are you? This is my business god right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this? You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? So we had to rub out all the last traces of Tam Tamis Tamsky left in this country. Tamsky? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy breaking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Hold it. It's there. Oh, it's my same actions in the past. Hold it. A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Yeah, not a real hitman weapon to have a shotgun. Those things you make a lot of noise. Not flashy, just thorough. True. Very effective. They call me nearsighted Jaco. <laughs> but I never let my prey get away. <laughs> he has terrible vision. Ever thought of, ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. And she's dead again. There you have it. The last four minutes of her life. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with fate, and a man toyed with- by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. For a mafia hitman, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, huh? Ghost and then trick. You can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? Now let's do it. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I'll get that. I get that. My man looks like Moon Dude Mascot from McDonald's in the 90s. <laughs> Tonight. Uh, what am I doing all the way down here? That's just how it works. Your corpse was your gateway to the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. This is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. Only four minutes left before she dies. 
Better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Hmm. Last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. So you have a look at the right side of the screen. Right side, eh? Sand on the top timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go, then. Okay. Uh. Roll. Uh, up. Up. Open. Blender. Perfect. Uh. Someone said, alright, Hitman, what do you want with me? Tamski. Timski. Time is passing. <laughs> the time is running out. Oh. Turn on. Wait, I get it. sister. Just a few more steps so we make it in time. My actions are that I did in the past one are, are still there. I'll stay time was. That's your chance to change your fate. So much time left to some. It's coming down to a battle of seconds. Uh, time's almost up. You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Time doesn't pass when I'm in the ghost world. I better possess something fast. Ring! Does anyone have to reload? Damn it, what's going on here? Neo Sider uh, Jiko never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. <laughs> Stop locking <laughs> them, Zawado! <laughs> never misses as long as they're within point blank range. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. A split second hope is born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Fate changed! You've gotta be kidding me! Bridge is up! Where did she go? A wild posse appeared! Help! 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 Welcome, Raiders. Hi, I'm Blossom, mischievous Blossom. I dug myself out of trash today to play some. Ghost trick. How y'all doing? Playing Soma? Heck yeah! Did you get spooked? How low? I'm going to ban you. Snake, time him out for a hundred billion seconds. Not just kidding. How y'all doing? Hello, welcome, welcome. Caravan raid, yes. I didn't actually. I'm super brave now. Mm. It's not good to lie. <laughs> Just had a few existential crises. Yes. Listen to music. Isn't it so good? Okay. Yep. Pedal. That's right. If I want to take a look, I can move the screen. Exactly. What? No way to run now. No. Okay. Oh! Uh, I, I forgot. I should uh, do things.
You hear something? Okay. Oh. Grim really scratches. The game really scratches my debating mind. Great for discussion. I'm gonna ramble lecture more than once. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Extend. Yep. I thought that would smack him in the face. Uh, can I possess him? No. Streetlight. We gonna kill a man. Goodbye. <laughs> Does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. Use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? Most certainly did. Get Miley Cyrus, Mafia nerd! <laughs> I knew you could do it. Fate averted. I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. When I came back to the present, it was raining. <laughs> I had saved the life of the stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. <laughs> A stranger. Word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me... Ray. It's a ray of light in the darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name, either, actually. I... I can't remember. So I guess the memories of that newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute, these powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do I even have to ask? Mine, of course. I see. Think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't have I tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Hmm. Call me Pixar lamp. <laughs> Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! It only exists in this world until tomorrow morning. Is it the same with Ray? How does Ray know this? I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. Until I learn that. Won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. I'm gonna go and learn the truth about your death as well. You should. Well, but let's see, how should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can't even imagine what the first step would be. 
First step, that's easy. You start with her. Why is she sitting in the rain, anyway? Person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Now you're right! And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, they say there's a very good possibility of that. What's I doing here tonight, in a place like this? No one possibly knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. Key to everything? What do you mean? I'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Ray has something to do with this. I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. She probably keeps some sort of record of everything I've learned tonight. It's a very good idea. Press L ZL to view a record of what you've learned. I'm sure to check now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. Phone book. Alright, then I wish you good luck. Trick time! Okay, let me take a look. I lost my life on a lonely spot in the outskirts of town. I'm trying to gain my last memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is a red-headed woman who witnessed my death. Me, the mystery. I like he just flopped dead. <laughs> red-headed target, a woman who is at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's always been killed, uh, already been killed once by a hitman, or I saved her with the powers of the dead. Ray of Light. He calls himself Elf Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. Hunter in the Dark. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman or me. But he's gone now, due to an unfortunate accident. Good luck for now, Blossom. Hope the stream goes well. Thank you, Hal. Have a good one. Junkyard. This place where I lost my life, and appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me about my powers, and a red-haired woman who might have information about my death. Better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Okay, that doesn't help. Ah! In the world just happened. The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Casp oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers! She thinks she did all that. <laughs> She just walked by my corpse. <laughs> oh, cat. Oh, wait, my corpse is down here. Cat. She's like, oh, me. <laughs> Hello, cat. Seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what's wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. That wouldn't help, but should I check it out? I guess let me go trick it. What's this? A big door. Umbrella. 
Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... Oh, what did it say? Didn't get a chance to read the note. Not to your, to your train of thought, but I wonder if you realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't the telephone call come in around this time too? Oh yeah! Telephone call. Exactly. In other words, this very moment on the inner end of the telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about other one of your ghost tricks. And then I saw him. Right there, on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Oh, I could see! Huh? Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? What is this? Hmm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right, what do you think? Maybe you would like to go see him? Better believe I would. You do well to listen to me. Ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way you can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... A dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say so what? I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. You can use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. It's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This desk clamp knows a lot more about me than he's telling me. Now then, from what that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's phone number. The rest is all up to you. And so the story of the search for myself begins, a story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I'll cease to exist and I'm surprisingly okay with that fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Check Discord DM. New illustration. They really have like the whole area. He does look like that guy. <laughs> That's her mood.
I can't, I, okay. My, my controllers aren't working. Have a change, is that the rebrand new? Boop. I have multiple uh, ones, but the rebrand is a 2D model. Also, hello, welcome back, Tantalus. I don't know why my thing isn't working. Let me. Hello? is what I saved the points for. <laughs> I asked to see this. Okay, let me try this. Oh, boop. Reboot. Wish I could stay. I'm just on my lunch, on lunch at my work. Oh! Time zones. Come on. There it is, okay. Alright, I keep having connection problems. I save points for opportune word bands, yes. Save your current place and time? Yes. I say lunch at 6 p.m. here. Yeah, it's six. It's six forty, six fifty-five here. We're like a a dinner, brunch. No, wait. Brunch is breakfast, lunch, dinner. No. Oh my! Why was I killed? One who is sh is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. Oh, dear. Liner. You're having liner. Yes. Perfect. Linner. At the other end of the phone line is a very man who had me killed. Or meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what to, what's to come. Just like when I buy the pros Primal Redeem, a new person pops in and completely confused by it. I know it's beautiful. What is these characters? Yes, if what I read in this file is true, woman should be quite a, a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I've already taken the next step, sir. What is this guy's design? Yes, but I say the last thing I've expected was to talk to the target herself, even if it was only over the telephone. Must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> Best part is I'm on a clopen close tonight, open tomorrow. Woof. Ouch. What's this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music. Odd little machine. Never seen a room like this before. One thing's for sure. These people are assassins. What's more, red-headed woman is another of their targets. A foul little man has. Maybe he'll give me some information on my redhead. Check time! I can't reach anything. My spirit is so weak. Mm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We're charging up our backup power now, sir. Process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Mm, yes. 
We can found that Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter rule and shorter and shorter. <laughs> He'll get coal on his next pay envelope, confound it. Might suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir. I see this file contains information about that redhead. I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did you see that? Oh my gosh. The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target missed Lane. Lynn? It's no longer a threat, sir. That's not what I'm talking about, man. Lynn? Is it Lynn? I think it's Lynn. Hmm, Lynn, so that's her name, is it? This file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Why do you suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. She has a weird room. Traveled through the phone line to get here. Where exactly is here? Who exactly are these people? I'm back from seeing the kitties. Hello, welcome back. I need a ghost trick. Eh. Great projector. <laughs> it got run! Are you trying to get me the case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. But again. Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it just uh, is just plain off, confound it. Yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir, in that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, it's us! Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Cecil. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Yes, it's very important to... It's very important to at night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. That is why we can't afford to trust that Cecil. No, we must be very careful. Cecil. I gotta just call it Cecil. Call him Cecil. Cecil? Cecil. Must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What would that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? You're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Mm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> Hello, Vix! Hello, welcome, Vix! How you doing? Hi! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see ya! One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this limb. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Mm. I can't get down. <laughs> After changes, yep. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. 
My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. I can't. Ghost trick. Guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have to each other? Spinning the painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. Got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip the situation around. It's time for normal model again. Let's go with zombie. What's my... There it is. Why am I down here? Let me... There we go. It's not Halloween, but it's Halloween in my heart. We're dead, so it's it makes sense. Okay, I've managed to get in. I say this room is giving me a heebie-jeebies, my good man. And with the painting spinning around and, and the like, it's enough to give a man, the man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. And yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, gad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Maybe we can give this guy a heart attack. Food. Boop, boop. The... <laughs> Miserable state of affairs when I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. All right. Timer on. Again. <laughs> it's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. But problem must be solved, sir. Miss Lane problems there. What? Lane? I, I, is her name Lane? I don't know. Lynn? Lane? Mm, yes. Did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? I said the dang it. Yes, sir, I sent one step ahead ten go to her apartment, sir. Telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is, Lynn is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tingo. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with the man? Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I didn't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, you'll propose to meet the head of Hitman division? Bah, no, man, now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my salary later. Great, Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. Get back to my job now, sir. I keep saying the, yeah. Hello, Josh! Hello, welcome! Confound it, you're hanging up oh, one step ahead.
Did you finish Final Fantasy X? Not yet. No, uh, I just defeated Seymour uh, for the second time. So right now I'm playing Ghost Trick because it just came out today. What do you say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some sort of nearsighted jig some of nearsighted Jigos Bay. When? Can't lose her. She's my only lead. If I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Lynn's apartment. You're getting there? Yep. Slowly but surely. Where is my hands? I forgot that I had my hand tracker on. That was weird. Oop. Oh, there's a dog! <laughs> Telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. My band does nothing tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry. When I'm reading dialogue, I just kind of skim over. There's a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Huh? Hmm. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. An even unluckier little doggy. Poor brave little warrior. Must have been trying to defend his mistress. Is the dog dead? Lin came home now. I have to do something about the situation. I'm fast. Is, is the dog dead? Did he kill the dog? That's illegal! You can't kill the dog! Yeah. Yep. Oh, where am I? I'm more to the point. Who am I? No! God, please! Who no! am I? No! Are, are you talking to me? Of course! You would see anybody else around here? But remember, right? The dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach each other, each other person, and directly. Guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And to what's this blue flame shape is all about? So what's this blue shape, flame shape about? Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camelot! My Miss Camelot is in trouble! He shot the dog! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet ya! I'm a Pomeranian! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy! Your puppy! Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble. I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? Like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. Rewind time! We can save the dog. We can save the dog! Let's see, first of all, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. Oh, you brought me with you. One or the other. Back to work. Have a good work, Tantalus. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. I hope your work is not too hard. I'm debating if I should join this VC. I joined a Final Fantasy server. Not a lot of people are saying hi in the chat. I didn't care. Final Fantasy server. Ooh. Dude, I want to play Final Fantasy more. <laughs> but I can't play it today. 
Because I played Ghost Trick, and it's fun. And I can't play it tomorrow, because I have some a, a thing. And Sunday... Uh, you'll love the ending if you're enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I love it. It's so good. Almost made me cry. Rebrand! Bad pool. You want to see the Jiggle Monster again? I forgot to turn on the thing. Let's bring the Jiggle Monster. Okay, Jiggle Monster coming. Let me boot up all my stuff to get it. Wait a second. Let me turn off that. Turn on this. Well, it gets booted up. You can have a little music. Should have asked if you had ate up my bed. Oh, no problem. That's why I make it so expensive. I forgot to boot up some stuff. I had enough to do it twice. <laughs> you watch a lot though. Have some Final Fantasy music while you wait. Yeah, I forgot about the word band. I like a lot and surprise how British I people I am all the time. Yes. My voice after that random time I joined BC. Yes, I hear the British, the British boil. We actually go for longer that for for this one. Hmm, looks like the dead can move around together. Yeah, <laughs> jiggle jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I wanna see you wiggle wiggle. Full show. Right in my feet. You know I wanna see it. This is a land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Kamala, doesn't it? Are you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially! I mean, Miss Kamala can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. <laughs> come on, come on, let's get started! Okay, first, we watch your last four minutes unfold, then use what we learned to save Kamala. No, there's an app that connects to Snapchat called Send It. Oh, gonna join Wishy Luck. Good luck, Josh. Good luck. Good luck. 
Just like when I saved Lane in the junkyard. You have nothing to lose. You can do it. You watch closely. We ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. That's a mood, though, Josh. That's a mood. I've gotten less introverted as I streamed, but even then, still, it's it's hard. Yippee, found the remote. That mud up. <laughs> no, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. Lady X door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it box again, I'll knock this wall down. I got more since I've streamed. More introverted? <laughs> oh. This is an app that you can ask questions on. Etc. What one friend of mine who begins with an in asked, would you ever get with me? In. And the other thing is I can't remember who begins with an in in their name on my Snapchat. Oh no! Oh no! If you don't want her to knock on the wall down now, do you, boy? Sai. Why do you like to bark so much anyway? I'm sure you are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? And you really want to watch TV, too. Yeah, no, I'll listen to music. Whoops, oops. Oh, that was close. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Ah, oh, donuts! Delicious. She just gonna keep eating donuts? Rat! Knock this wool down! Hmm, don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. To put it down is a separate charge and ac accounting never likes that. I have best friends who have an in in their nickname I gave them, but who knows who it is. Hmm. I guess it can be helped. Sorry, kid. That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before he died. Wow, well, look at that! I'm dead! Kind of shocked, to tell the truth! Okay, let's get started on saving her. Let's see, how are we going to do this? If you could keep eating donuts, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would! Donuts are so good! Especially if they're like cake donuts, those are really good. Although like... If I were to eat a lot of them, I'd want it to be like a, a non-super sugary one. Like, just like maybe a plain donut. With like not a lot of sugar in it. But cake donuts are like chocolate cake donuts are my favorite donut. What's your favorite donut? I love donuts. Seems to me that the easiest way to would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I didn't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is... Welcome! I can't help it! The ones with the custard in it? Oh my gosh, those are good. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Are you mean the headphones? Or she puts those red things on, that's it! I can call her name until my throat is sore! But she never hears me. Chocolate cake frosted donuts, yes. Classic Simpsons donut, so like a... I don't know what that would be. 
The chocolate cake frosted donuts are so good. I love them. Your favorite too, yes. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. You're right. There's headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we have to do something about that. Hana, hello, Riff. I could be naughty with the answer, but I'm being good at Oh, hmm. Hmm. This isn't good. Miss Kamali's gonna put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know, and when she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Why is this acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog biting my hand that beats it. Although, with missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than with my hand. Okay. Her sight and in sight and her ass. Hello, welcome, troll fan. Hello, welcome. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How we tell her you did it, missile. Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Give me Miss Kamala. I'm only doing it to save you. So what now? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. So now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. As a Slicero, it's weird to be friends with someone who wants you want to kill and who wants to kill you. <laughs> what? Question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only you had a big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. It doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman com coming in, so in that case. Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide Miss Kamala? Hide, huh? Sounds like just the kind of ideal little dog you would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But well, where could a little lady hide in this room? I might just have a place. There's just one little problem. How we get Miss Kamala in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Kamala herself, the answer would be easy, but I can't do that, so I guess I'll have to wait find a way to lead her there. Definitely would make funny. <laughs> Where the heck is Snake? Um I don't know. He'd probably be getting bread. Do is using objects in the room. I think I'll try out various things to see what I can come up with. We are watching, cheering you on. Oh, there's Snake. Snake. 
Hello. Rat. You sent that thing flying. I like to keep things tidy. <laughs> I like to bark at things that move. Guess everything looks like a toy to a little doggy. Now I bet our little lady will come over to quiet you down. So if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. Keep this up, that wall is going to come down our heads before we know it. You'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will! That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. Man in black and the woman in purple. So why did she have a fish tank but no fish? Oh. Where'd the donuts go? Missile's best boy. Missile is best boy. Okay. Play? Bark like that, how can anybody enjoy a, the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm totally embarrassed by my own behavior. Look at that, one of the ornaments off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. Graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Rotate faster. Something just fell out, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. Just glad it didn't fall on Miss Kamala's head. Me too. Wouldn't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. <laughs> I can't possess it. Seen that thing flying. I'd like to tidy up by shoving eyesores on the sofa. <laughs> How come you're looking at me when you say that? Wait a minute, under sofa? It might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Kamala climbs under her sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under a sofa. Problem is that how do I lead her under there? What are you barking about anyway? Just look at her, it's all sparkling glittery and her turns around and around. Besides, it plays that exciting music. What else can I do about bark? 
Tell me your son exactly what are you thinking when you bark like that? Let's see. The time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I'd say they were... Welcome! I guess that's about sums it up. I guess it's kind of a feeling I'll never quite understand. Eh, give me donut. Can't make another donut fall. What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. And the barking part is your favorite part, right? Looks like only one donut will fall. We only get one chance. Oh, great. Bork. Donut thingy. So door hits it. I'm down to only a few more seconds. Miss Kamala, we have to do something. We just have to. Getting worked up isn't going to help. We're down to the wire here. Enough time to do something to change your fate. Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Ghost trick? What is it? I'm gonna rewind time and start all over again from four minutes ago. Whatever we do, we better hurry. Well, let's start over. Let's watch what happens now that she she actually hears him come in. Listen up, little girl. I'll make you a deal. If you promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now, anyway. What a shame. Guess I was a brave, this brave little a fellow refuses to accept our deal. Missile, no! Doesn't seem like it could stop the intruder from coming in. Guess the little doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. Guess the only thing to do is hide our little lady someplace so a hitman can see her. I ring time, re ring time and think about this one. Okay. Only one donut falls. Bye bye, Giggle. <laughs> Giggle. Yes, it's time for Jiggle to go. Let me. Uh. Bip. My money bone, jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I want to see a wiggle, wiggle. For sure. Bip. Face breaking. Okay. Pretty 
Rotate faster. Can you make the music box fall on her head? I don't think I can. Wait, I might have been able to. I think I'm gonna need it. So I think I figured it out. I'm on the right path. Okay, back again. Wait, why did No, don't ban Vix! Let him in! Let Vix be free! Free Vix! Free Vix! Free Vix! Vix do something wrong, Vix did nothing wrong. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? My little miss, you're always doing the cutest things. What is it, eh? My brain is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Stealing those. Little lady's fate has been averted. He has? Poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. It's not... It's so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Well, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it. You see, Vix um, just just keeps making uh, Spanish jokes. <laughs> it upsets the snake. <laughs> Maybe for size, you're the one who did it. Huh? 
Me? I see Vince Camel. Comma Ixtas. <laughs> Buenos dias. Free Vix. Yup. I want to lead her under a sofa, right? Tortillas. You Tortilla. You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. Just think we could have fun stream, y'all. <laughs> Have a good time, Joker. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care of yourself. For ghost tricks? Then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I I guess that's how it goes, right? Been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? Vix, you're free! Vix! Welcome back! I know, Snake is so rude. So is Missile dead? Missile is no longer dead. I don't really know. But he might die still, so... But Missile did get dead originally, yes. We possessed him. We, we, we went back in time. Did you change his fate? We did, but it, time works weird, so... So you just don't have that power. I have one thing to say to that. That's not fear! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. Guess that means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we better get, uh, be getting back to the present. So let's see what happens in next in our story. Now a new present is born. Little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard. Alright, got it. I'm on my way. <laughs> I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let Neosider Jiggo get beat me out of this one. Better hurry. He just leaves? What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. You just shouldn't answer it. Lynn! a little doggy there's a that little doggy all curled up on the floor dreaming away the life he worked so hard to get back for him that's fine but what's up with the, that core dead can't possess living creatures that's one of the rules mr desk lamp taught me missiles alive yes every time i try my best to speak spanish snake bully me i know he's so mean i mean you saw tortilla and chamichanga and he's just like Ugh, could be gone thought He's so rude and mean. And he doesn't have a romantic bone in his body. <laughs> so what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? Better try possessing him and see. 
Oh, it's you! It's you! It's, um... Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's a good we ran into each other again, though. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together? The drama? That tearful goodbye? I miss him! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're still alive again. Now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes! Does that mean the one girl? It's funny because now I'm gonna make you blush. No! Shush! Ah! Stop! So they're like, have a link to the to the, the netherworld. Hmm, that come on, it never fails. Come on. What never fails? Every time she gets on that uh, black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and chill off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, eh? She'll like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. How to make up Fajita. Fajita. Yeah, Snake, you don't know all about that food, because you're from Mexico, right? <laughs> yep. Def not Peru, exactly. Call from Lynn, right? Sounds serious, I wonder what they're saying. Yep, Mexico for sure. We're gonna go possess that phone and listen in. Camplot! Oh, thank goodness you're okay! Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just ha- Listen to me, you've gotta get out of there right now! But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there, too. But I already was in danger, just a while ago. Meet me at the restaurant in, chick in the chicken kitchen on the Dead in Drive, that name. Because it's Tortiller, Tortillo Night, and no one's gonna save you from this mispronouncing fight. Exactly. Dead in Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? And one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? Oh, I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. You can't very well call it a music box, and can you? It's more just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? Kind of hit it in that room you're in. Oh. Excuse me. I. What? <laughs> uh, dang it. Tech Co Tuesday and Tortilla Thursday. Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too. How about if I tell her you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn is alright. Better get going. I know right where Dead and Drive is. I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? You know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? I know where it is. Oh, a friend from Chile that's pretty close to you, Sneak. That cart just moved, didn't it? I always thought so, but that just proves it. This apartment building is... 
leaning to one side. You, this little lady knows how to keep me on this edge of my seat. Oh my gosh. Leaning to one side. I love that. She's like, it's hotter. No. What? Oh, wait. Oh. When boxers fell, there might be a music box we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now. box yippee leave the remote here but don't touch it missile the TV comes on you'll start barking I had to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home okay I'm leaving now missile I have to go help Lynn she's just like a sister to me you know be good while I'm away and no barking. This little pob. Stop! Stop banning people! Let Shindo be! I really wish I could learn actual Spanish though, yeah. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle on my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about going out of here? You... you... I saw... You... you timed out Shindo, I saw it. I saw it. Tortilla. <laughs> Send this killer tortilla night. Oh, we can go for one more, I think. One more chapter. Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. Mexicans are like the, the Americans for South America. It's actually pronounced tortiller. Yes, it is. It's actually pronounced tortiller. Don't you know? Tortiller. Tort. Tor tortellini. Tortellini. Dude, it's been so long since I used this uh, model. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope for escape is to find our telephone. Is it Mexico technically North America? I think it is, which is weird. I think they're they're better than the rest of their government and, and the rest of their government is very nosy. Oof. No, Mr. Desk Lamp here, the only friend I have to talk to is that nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. Hello, what's up? Was wondering if you could help me. I certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking! There really isn't much else. I think you might be right there. I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. 
I got quite a bit of influence around these parts. <laughs> boop, boop. I think I gotta... Oh, let me see. it. I want to move to Chile and hang out with my homies, but I need to know Spanish. Oof. I don't know you, you would want to move to Chile. But definitely hanging out with your homies, I can see that. Hook this wall down, good. She has a phone. You keep that racket up. This be your lesson, kids. If you die, you get a talking dog best friend. Exactly. Uh, but you only get to live until, like, the next day. I'll bring this whole di dilapidated building down on you. Did you hear what I just heard? The mean lady next door is angry, how? You'll forget that. It's the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. I get it, you're thinking of borrowing her telephone, aren't you? How are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? The lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. I mean, that's fine. The dog was supposed to die anyway. <laughs> Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door. I have to create a path to get there somehow. Shall I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her words, she might be able to change the situation. I want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. Pound this wall open! Is, is the dog okay? Told you, didn't I? Told you I'd knock the wall down on you. This is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. The TV and the star ornament aren't. Hmm. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. Wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing, just like before. There are paths only the dead can see. Well, those kind of paths. Measle's such a good boy. That's a strong wine bile. I know, right? You're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to see Miss Kamala and Miss Lynn. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you won't save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to help Miss Kamala, too. We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right! Right, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Cecil. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Cecil, huh? Got it. You know what, Cecil? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Dog, please. You're gonna give yourself brain damage. Tonight is uh, is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need is to get some inspiration from the muses. 
uh, from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Alright. It's funny is I found you on the Catholic tag and only watched a few times so far. Saw you and Snake and Empress to chat and knew you were dating, but just today made the connection you and the uh, person are the same person. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Ha, ah, I mix. I, I heard that you're Catholic too. That's so cool. Heck yeah. I've been watching. <laughs> I, it feels kind of creepy, but I was I was like watching um, uh, Empress's bods, and I was just like looking at the you talking to her, and I was like, oh, he's Catholic. That's so cool. And you're like a, a new convert, I think I heard. That's like really cool. Welcome to the church. <laughs> I'm I'm like, yes, I got baptized this Easter. <gasps> Congratulations! Welcome to the church. Yee! I hope that uh your journey with your closeness to God grows and uh yes, you you will you'll get grow ever closer to him. Hmm. <laughs> I can't nod. <laughs> it breaks for some reason. Whoa. I was atheist cringe. You found your way. You found your way. Hmm. And now you're on your way to to uh grow closer and get a healthy, good relationship with God. Hmm. I was a I was a, a cradle Catholic, so <laughs> I don't really know what that's really like, but you know, I've always, I've been lucky enough to always have a, a God in my life and, and uh, to always look towards him whenever I was, I was uh, needing something, you know, needing help. It's a weird experience. I'm sure it is. It's not something I can, well, relate to and I've been there, but it's, it's definitely something that like, I don't know. I think converts have something special about them because instead of just being handed this this religion from birth, you had to fight for it and that's that's really admirable actually. Mm. It's kind of cool. <laughs> well, Convert kill is real then though. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay, you know, God forgives you for um, all of your sins that you confess, and he loves you, and um, that's what's most important. He's, he's glad you're, you're here, and that you believe in him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Phew. Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly, uh, odd, oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Like the story of the late workers from the NT? Hmm? Oh, from the New Testament? Oh. Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Who's sick? <gasps> there it is. The telephone. Now, if only I can just borrow it. My hand. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything with that. Okay. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone fast. Can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate re ruination. Oh my gosh. Ruination, is that even a word? Uh, that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. She's writing like fan fiction. <laughs> Where is that dictionary? Okay. Rat. Rat soup, rat soup, rat soup, rat soup. Just 
can't find it. Let me... Dictionary. This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this poppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Rat soup! No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. It's so strong, it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can't you be just plain whelmed? This is going to nag me until I'm sure. Time to be whelmed. <laughs> yeah, it's all of sunset. Let me tell you something. I hear people say a lot of times to know you you're saved, you have to pinpoint the moment you start believing, and I don't have that. I've just always believed. Yeah, I don't I don't think that you need to know the moment you were saved. Like That's that's like kind of stupid, this lady. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to know how the moment you were saved or anything like that. I literally didn't make the connection until I saw Snake in here after I stopped in to see the stream and thought, he has a mod here too, crazy. Then I realized you already knew the Spanish jokes and then it hit me. Oh my god! <laughs> my face stopped working. <laughs> You're like, wow, Snake is here. That's weird. Oh, there's this girl. That's that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's me. Hello, hi. Yes, I am the Opossum Blossom, who's the one that has recently been in in, in Princess Chat, uh, nagging people. Also, Pilk is good. Pilk is good. I tried Pilk and it was good. Got a freaking. I that Grimace shake. I wanted to try it, so I tried it. The dairy has got to me. Oof. Just a little. It's fine. Pilk just seems like some kind of cream soda. It kind of is. It kind of is like cream soda. It's kind of creamy. We did it! 150! <laughs> Let's see, I know I put it right here somewhere. Where could it have gone to? Just can't find it. Okay, what do I do with the rat? If, <laughs> no, Mr. Prime Minister, we mustn't if people ever found out. I don't care what they might think. What do the plebeian masses understand anyway? Certainly not our love. Hmm, what is this Prime Minister talking about? Never even heard the word plebeian before. It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. Yeah, my response to evangelicals to are you saved question is like to shout at you. I am saved, am being saved, and hope to be saved. Exactly. Exactly, that's yes. Can I be saved? Yes. You probably use the drinky bird to make it squeak. No, she doesn't. I'm missing all the context. <laughs> Pilk is so good. It is. It's like not bad at all. I got more yesterday. Pog. <laughs> How do I? Can I?
Does anyone have any ideas? I got a rat here. Being Catholic in the South is hard though, for real, for real. Yeah. It can it can be hard, especially because like some some Protestant groups are like perfectly fine with you being Catholic, and some Protestant groups are like you Catholics eat babies, and it's like bro, because I've experienced both. Catholics do eat babies. <laughs> Oh, wait, there she goes. Get you next time. <laughs> Catholic churches are harder to find in the South, too. Yeah. <laughs> Heretic. <laughs> Uh, see, everyone call- they- if you're, like, focused on being like, everyone is a heretic because they don't believe exactly what I believe, then you're not, like, treating people well. I'm Catholic, I don't eat babies shaking my head. I sacrifice them to Mary for worship. <laughs> uh, I don't drink- I've heard, like, Catholic stereotype as a Southern Protestant myself. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, like, I've heard that. It's funny, though. <laughs> also, like, I wish, I just feel like Christians could just get along with each other, you know? Not treating people well, why should you treat Catholics well? It's not like they're people. <laughs> Troll ban. Okay. It's more like if she takes them as a challenge, something to be hunted down. Can we identify that way of thinking? I wonder if I can use this personality trait of hers. Eh. Everything you say is so nonsense, troll fan, that I just can't even respond to it. There's a lot of infighting between nom denominations, for sure. Yeah, I think we should we should focus on what we have in common instead of. Can I grab that? And, and instead of what we, what we're different about, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, she notices a rat. I have to be quick. she notices it then go here okay. oh there it is <laughs> stop in finding submit to Rome extra include some knowledge dollars <laughs> See, we don't have to fight because everyone knows that Catholics are right and everyone else is right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I have a lot of friends that are in different denominations and stuff. And it's like, it's, you know, uh, when it comes down to it, it's kind of nice just talking to them about things. Yeah, I did spin the when it was hiding behind it. It didn't do any effect. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel was playing naughty tricks on me.
Crafts, my darling angel. <laughs> Snake, no. Child Latin bro, bro yeah, kid. <laughs> you have friends with different denominations since you really are an Arctic. Yes, I have friends that believe that are uh, different denominations. Ah! The horror! <laughs> what? Blast the vet said they tried to cook you. I'm so confused. What? Got baptized sims in the TLM right. It's five hours. Oh my gosh. The vet said they tried to. Oh, they did. <laughs> yeah, they they. <laughs> Stella presents. Yes. Um. So, they put me in a a room. In the oh traditional Latin mass. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Heck yes. Traditional Latin mass. Latin is awesome. Um, but they they put me in a back room and they had a sanitizer going and it was making the room really hot And so I was just kind of like boiling in there and every time they came in they were like, I'm so sorry We don't have another room free. I'm so sorry. You're probably like boiling in here. It was so funny It was so funny. They were like you're sweating. I'm sorry <laughs> It was hilarious. It was hilarious and then they they were like fun uh, Like fawning over my cat. It was so funny. They were like, He's so pretty <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they tried to cook me a little, but just a little. And they kept going, if the thing goes off, it's fine. It it's, it's might it pop might pop open. It might scare you a little bit. <laughs> uh, save the animals, but not the possum, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I was boiling, but it's fine. I don't mind. I don't hold it against them or anything. They were cool. Mama. Okay. Also, it's weird. I came to the church through the Latin Mass, then going to talk to normal Catholics and realizing there's a huge difference between how I even think. That's true. That's true. That's true. The Catholics have a lot of different opinions, honestly. Narvis Ordo can be pretty varied. Yeah. Made cookies from a cookie jar mix. I had to get it within them. Is that from my cousin? Like, uh, cousin, what is his name? McCoy? Yeah, little baby McCoy. His birthday. Right? Ask two question. Two Catholics a question and get three answers. Exactly. And there's a lot of Catholics don't know, like, a lot of church teachings. It's always important to learn. What is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, mama. You poor dear. Oh, no wonder with a fever of 102. I'm gonna go have a fun stream. Thank you, Stella. Here's to a night of... Here is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best, but wait a minute. But you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? I like to watch Catholics talk to other Catholics or Protestants and stir the pot. <laughs> Vix, no! <laughs> fight, fight, fight. No, especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Kamala next door or something. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel, this lady. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I have just one more thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of the of you two, okay? 
Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. No, no, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. Did she just... <laughs> uh, we walk up to a Catholic talking to our Protestant friend. I say, extra ecclesium nullis salus. Their friend, what does that mean? The Catholic friend is afraid so it's nervous. <laughs> I've only been to a Latin mass a few times. I wish they had one around here, but it's they don't really have them anymore. Helsing Ultima. I don't know what that is. I brought villain. He's probably the culprit behind my death and Lynn's death too, but his motives are unknown. Apparently he's planning to carry out a deal with me tonight, but I don't know the details. He appears to be the uh, a masked muscle man. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in the strange room expertly. The other hitman. He's a hitman who on the old man's orders is targeting Lynn, the name of one step ahead Tengo. He's nearsighted Jingo's rival. Upon hearing the Lynn is still at the junkyard he headed there once. Active par- uh, They're very active parish. Like, they're a group's everyday do s to do stuff? Oh. Name is Kamala. Over the phone, Lynn asks her to find the music box hidden in the apartment and to bring it to the restaurant. Friendly little Pomeranian. Valiant pet. Oh my gosh. His name is Missile. His mission is to protect the little girl who is his mistress. He's doing his best right now to create a path to do just that. Housing Ultima is basically Catholics versus Parts since the anime. Oh dear. Perfumed lady. Lynn's neighbor. She lives in her apartment decorated with in red with her daughter. Apparently she's a novelist who moved here due to disagreement with her husband. Feverish firecracker. The daughter of the woman in the purple. She has a fever 102 and is resting in bed. Apparently she and Kamala are friends. She doesn't going out for her lesson tonight. Hello, dreamer. Hello, welcome. My hand is doing a weird thing, but hello. How are you doing? These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. Wonder if I had a family. Poor guy. Doing great, good, good. Oh my, the lamp's out. Did she, why did she strike a match on her butt? <laughs> I explained that the conflict as a teenager thought he was too cool to be seen with mom. <laughs> why not? My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to be Prime Mr. Prime Minister? I'll arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. <laughs> oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. <laughs> hmm. I had to live in this Prime Minister's country. What is this guy? For comedy. I'm freaking... Okay, I... Can't do much here. Eek! What's going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, I have to catch it. The telephone is right over there. If only I could get to it. Just need to jump over there somehow. Better keep my eyes open for the right timing to make a move. Yes. How does she even do that? <laughs> Fling me!
She's a toot, she can do anything. Can I... Hello? Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Till you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! Let me talk to Amelie then, at least. You can't talk to her, she's sick with a fever right now and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa! I don't want Aunt to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Okay. I can finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband. I should go find my only lady first. Min who's after Lynn is sure to be hiding in the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. What would happen if I went there? You're right, sir. I order all of you not to come near me. I, I beg your pardon, sir. I am sorry I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh boy, in her strange room and her strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. <laughs> mm, books. Documents. I can't read them. Flap. Well, that's useless. Mm. This medicine bottle? Oh. I don't think there's anything I can really do here right now. I need to go back to the junkyard. Wow, hell! Challenge play ghost trick, but say ghost trick every time you do a ghost trick. <laughs> Not much time has passed since I was here last. The situation has changed. Oh? Ah, oh, they found his body! Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. And besides them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Guess who? 
Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? Police are here to start criminal criminal investigations. You know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me. Eek! Okay. So I'm like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact the hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Better see what I can find out. Quite a thing, huh? This case? Yeah, one of her own. A murderer. Heads will roll over this. What? Is Lynn an uh, investigator? Like a police officer? She's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. I think for her blessings. But I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanilla of the Special Investigations Unit. Plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. The detective shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> Can I do anything with this? No trick. Ghost. Traffic sign. Oh, it says his name now! Sizzle! I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took to the chest. Okay. Bring the stretcher, I'll look into the rest to back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Campbella, head of the Special Investigations Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigations Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanel is our top investigator. Don't want to get him all bent out of shape or there will be hell to pay. Well, don't see what that has to do with me. Don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> ah, the tension of a crime scene. <laughs> the freak? Yeah, nothing like it, baby. <laughs> Here he is now. <laughs> this guy. He's literally dancing. Evening, boys. How is it looking? Inspector Cam Campanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna take a little phone call first. <laughs> so this is the head of the special investigations unit. He seems, uh, unique. Trick time. Sissel learn in his stately office, tearing out his hair. He's frantic about his wife, the woman in purple who has left him. Careworn gentleman. Oh, no. Green detective. I'm of the police who's investigating my murder. His partner is a blue detective who works under Inspector Cabanella. I'm of the police who's investigating my murder. His partner is a green detective who works under Inspector Cabanella. 
Odd Blue Doctor. He's apparently a colleague of the detectives. He's examining my corpse. There's something off about him. Lanky and Loose Lawman. <laughs> Head of a special investigations unit. His name is Cab Cabanella. Apparently he's the group's top investigator. Looked up to by his men. He seems to dance through life. He has some kind of special tie with Lane. Bag. Uh, can't reach. Can do any trick here. Uh, boo. Can I? I can't get there. Fun call it is. Tell me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it? I don't know what to think about this person. How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, but if, about fair to average. If I were how to say, yes, it's going alright. If he's blue, he's probably part of the mafia. All those guys have been blue so far. Yeah, it does make sense. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that little nice man on the horn now, would you? That's, that's a nice fellow. If it was anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes! <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. The other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Startled blathering something about being a guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. <sighs> sorry about that. Start doing your sta staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we have a connection to the park. Now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc, yoo-hoo, oh, Doc. Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? I need you, don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see what this suspect now, if I may. Lane, sir. I asked her, her to see herself to, to be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! Now, where's that? Just beyond where you parked, our, your bicycle, sir, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. This dude, I'm freaking... <laughs> Carry on, boys. <laughs> He's so flamboyant. Good luck, sir. <laughs> the fact that everyone takes him so seriously and he's just... <laughs> Wee. Trick time. Okay, I can go to the park. <laughs> He's still. <laughs> okay, when can I go? <laughs> I got the star, you got the star. Down, lamp friend. That Inspector Ken Vanelli sure has a strange air about him. I could say that again. I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. He was dancing his way up the stairs for promotion the same airy way. Here, Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Doctor's saying something else. 
I think we can pretty safely assume this was a murder weapon. A gun. No, that pistol. Yep, same models of pistols you detectives carry around. Don't think it's Lynn's, do you? It's not good if it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? So this is a weapon that took my life. Pistol, and my memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I've seen them before, and that's for sure. Let's see what this part... This part right here is... Oh! <laughs> Fool, if you want to fire the thing, I aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. It's the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. What are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. I guess that proves it. it's a real gun. It was still loaded. Bang. What was that? Is that what I think it was? Sound of a gun. Got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Hmm, if you say so. I like this guy's still examining Cecil's corpse. <laughs> hip, 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 hip. Oh, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, will you? Seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Huh? Oh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or else I'll see to it and you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent superintendent's office immediately. Uh, if I must. Like, what else are you gonna do? Just look at this dead guy over and over? What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. It sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. I want to check out the park real quick. <laughs> it's like, I know something serious is going on, but it's fine. If someone dies, I can just rewind time. It appears to be an entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of two young people drift over the me to me on the breeze. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park and the rock of the gods! I'm sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character. A questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, alright, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. Night is young and so are we. Oh man. <laughs> okay, what's this? Leaflet. I can't read it. And I can't do anything with it. Ew. Super's office. We gotta be near the end of the chapter. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. Something gives me a feeling of a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently I'm not the only one the Reapers are interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I won't plan on letting anybody else die. I 
Okay. Oops, no, I meant to say no. Okay, we're good. We have played through three chapters. It's about a chapter an hour. Let me change this. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Move that bird out of the way. Move the bird. Let me see. I want to see my wife. <laughs> oh, bird! I want to see my wife. <laughs> Let me see who is streaming. Empress is sick. Oh no! I hope she feels better. I think she said at the beginning of her other stream that last night's stream that she wasn't feeling well. I hope I hope she recovers soon. Can leave some get well in I will. I'll leave a get well message in her Discord for her. Okay. Uh, Stitches is still streaming. We'll read Stitches. She might be ending soon, but that's fine. Read of Stitches. Okay, she's doing karaoke. Check out Bigette Baby. They're having so many problems. Hilarious. Oh no. God bless him. Thank you all so much for coming. This was really fun. I'm liking Ghost Trick. It's fun. I, I like the music. It's it's like, it reminds me kind of of a Ace Attorney. I don't know why. Anyway, um, I will uh, see about maybe streaming tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I don't have anything scheduled tomorrow or Sunday, but I might just do a gorilla stream. Ooh, ooh, I, I, who knows? Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Have a good night or day. I will have my schedule out uh, Saturday or Sunday for next week. Got some good things. Stream crashed. Oh no. I hope she fixes it. Have a good night or day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And thank you all so much for coming. I will see you guys a leader. I apostle me. Bye bye. Bye 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 b